Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well today. I have a quick tip on camera animation and making sure that you are acting like a professional and not a noob. So this is the scenario. You add a camera to your scene. Uh, you go to the beginning and make a keyframe. You do a little bit of a camera move and you make another keyframe. And then you render this out saying this looks really nice. The problem is that this camera move is easing in and easing out. And this might look okay for one shot, but if you start cutting a bunch of shots together and all of them are easing in and easing out, it doesn't flow very well. And it just looks like you're doing a beginner camera move and doesn't look very professional. So let's go ahead and show you what's going on here. If we go to our keyframes, you can see that we are easing in and easing out. Now one thing you can do is kind of mess around with these handles, but it's sometimes hard to get it perfect. Let's go ahead and go to your keyframe, right click, go to spline types, and then click on zero angle length. And if we go back to our F curve, you can see that now we have a perfectly flat line, which means it's going to start out uh, without that ease out. And you can also do that to the end keyframe. You can mess around with the handles like this and try to get it perfect, but then you have to match up these two. And sometimes it kind of gives a little bit of a hiccup. So instead, what you can just do is right click, go to spline types and zero angle length. And now if we look at these guys, you can see we have a perfect linear uh, progression on these keyframes and there's going to be no easing in and easing out and everything's gonna look great. So that is how to fix it if you want to, but here's a quick tip. Let's go ahead and undo that animation. We'll uh, show tracks and delete our keyframes here. If we go to edit and then we go to project settings, we have all these different options here. If we go to the tab on the far right, it's called key interpolation. This is the default interpolation whenever you make any sort of a keyframe. And what I like to do is take this from spline and change it to linear. Because more often than not, I want my keyframes to start out linear and I can always change them to spline later. But changing it to linear, that uh, kind of helps speed things up for me. So now if we make a keyframe and we go to the end and we'll make another keyframe, you can see that we have that really nice linear keyframe and we're not easing in and easing out. And if we render this out and string a bunch of clips together, they're gonna flow a lot better and it's just gonna add a little bit more polish to your projects. So that's the quick tip. Uh, go to your keyframe interpolation and you can change that default. This is sort of like After Effects where you have the Bezier keyframe and then you can right click on it and go into the properties and change it to linear. This is the equivalent of doing that in uh, Cinema 40. And remember, if you want to just do it per keyframe, right click, spline types, zero angle length, that will give you a perfect linear keyframe. So I hope that's helpful. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.